What's up? It's Cody. Welcome back to the channel. Now, one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube ever since I was a little kid is live concerts. I love being able to watch a concert without having to see it in person. I personally live in Canada and we don't always get the biggest and best shows rolling through. So YouTube has been a great way for me to watch these live concerts or concerts in the past that I may have missed because I was younger or wasn't there. They're in a different country. But some of my favorite live performances of all time have been music award shows. I find the production is always so big with these. They always sound and look so good. But in 2020, we haven't been able to get these same type of shows just since there hasn't been the same live award shows with all the audience and everybody there, and they've kind of taken a different spin on it. What they've been doing is almost alternative versions, re-recording the song, still doing it live, but uh, with a little bit more of a music video feel to it, not necessarily a live performance. It's more of a, a new rendition of it. And one of the coolest ones that I heard recently was Doja Cat's Say So. Now, this has been the biggest song of 2020, or at least one of the biggest songs of 2020, and I heard she took a different approach to it. Instead of the pop style that it normally is. She has a rock band with her and change up the style. So today I'm going to be watching that video and reacting to it live for you. So without any hesitation, let's jump right into it. But really quickly, if you do like this type of content from me and like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Give this video a like. It really helps out me and my channel so much. So thanks. You can do that. Let's jump into it. Wow, I don't even know where to start with this one. I mean, first of all, the production is absolutely amazing. As I said, these live shows are not looking like live shows. They look like music videos. This looks like it's a professionally shot music video. The way there's all the animation and her like crawling out of that screen looks so cool. I'm a big fan. But let's talk about the music. This is a pop song. This is a pop artist. This is charting on the top 100s. This is a radio song. And this is not the version that is on the radio. This is not what I expected to hear. She has a full band and like a metal band, big chuggy guitars, double kicks, the drum kit is mixed really, really loud. This is wild. I'm so excited to hear how the rest of this song turns out. So let, let's continue into it. It's been a long time since you You ain't coming out your show You ain't really been yourself Tell me what must I do Cause luckily I'm good at reading I wanna bug it but it won't stop cheesing And we Okay, this straight up just sounds like a rock song to me. I, if this was the first time I ever heard this song, I wouldn't know that this was a pop song. I mean, her vocal is still a little soft and doesn't have that aggressive rock feel to it, but I mean, even look at the band. These dudes are wearing makeup, they're all dressed in black and tatted up. They're playing these like really pointy guitars. They just, this looks like a metal performance to me. Like I said, if I didn't know that this was a pop song, I would be fooled and think that this is just the original version. I think this is so cool that she's doing this. I've been so scared over the past few years that rock Rock music is dying. Now, while I don't think rock music will ever die, it's definitely not mainstream and it's definitely not very popular among most artists. I mean, distorted guitars are not on the radio right now. There may be guitar riffs and nice, cute little clean riffs, but there's there's no there's no distorted guitars like this on the radio. There's no heavy, thrashy drums. It's mainly electric drums and like pop kits, if anything. So. This is really interesting that she's doing this. I'm really curious to see what her music will look like down the road. I mean, I don't think she'll ever go fully this style, but it's cool to see that her reimagined version of this song is a, a rock version or a metal version, more or less. Let's, uh, let's keep listening. Shut it, 
Okay, I love how that whole section and that whole verse was kind of like this rap rock feel to it. That translated over so well from the original song, and I think that's so, so cool. Now, one thing that does kind of have me puzzled with this is why she do a version of this song like this. I mean, this definitely doesn't appeal to the mass markets. This is definitely hitting a more alternative crowd, that more rock crowd, so I could see her trying to expand to those genres and those music listeners, but that doesn't seem like a big group of people that'd be listening to it. Now, while this is just an award show performance, and it really does doesn't mean anything, it doesn't affect the music that she's going to produce and write and put out in the future, it still is really interesting that she'd choose to do this. And I can't quite figure out exactly why she might be doing this. So if you have any ideas of why you think she'd do this type of performance, this rock style performance, drop a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, I'd really like to hear what you have to see and maybe we can come up with some ideas as to why she might be doing this. But uh, let's continue with it. Okay. That's a guitar solo. There's a guitar solo in a pop song right now. I, this just has my mind fully blown. I can't believe that we're seeing something like this from Doja Cat. This is not her typical thing, at least not what I think of her typical thing, but uh, who knows? Who knows what she's doing in the future with this? This is really, really cool. But I do need to jump forward just because if I show this whole video, it will get blocked by YouTube. So I'm gonna jump forward and we'll just go to the next chorus. So let's tune in right there. Wow, that was an amazing performance. That was so, so cool. This is one reason that I absolutely love pop music. I've been a fan of pop music ever since I was a kid. It hasn't been my main listen to genre, but pop music I always find so interesting because the songs are written so well that you can kind of transform it into any genre. And that's one thing that I've taken with my own writing is that if I write a pop song, a basic four chord structure song on an acoustic guitar, I can transition that into a pop song, into a country song, into a rock song, into a punk song, maybe even to a rap song, even though there's a little more melody to it, there still are elements that could be taken from any single genre. So that's one thing that I really like about pop music. I think it's so cool that she's able to take her pop song and turn it into this rock slash metal type tune. I think that's so, so cool. And I'm really curious to see what she does with this in the future. I mean, the mashing of genres is one of my favorite things in the world. I love breaking down those barriers about genres. I'm not a fan of genres. I never have been. I don't understand them. I have a hard time categorizing music in genres. And so it's so cool to see her just be like, yo, this is a pop song, but I'm gonna throw in some electric guitars and some wicked solos and some smashing double kicks. And it was really, really good. She still sings it well. She's an amazing singer, amazing performer. The video looked amazing. I, 10 out of 10, that was so well done. So I wanna know what your thoughts are about this performance. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Is this something that you're into and wanna see more of, or should they just cut it, play it as it's recorded, and basically just hit space bar on the track and sing over top of it? Drop me a comment down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, make it turn blue. It really helps out me and my channel, gets this video seen by many more people. And if you want to stay up to date with more music related content just like this, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.